of the year and my absolute favorite video that I film every single year. Today, you guys, I am showing y'all everything that I am using this year to make up my treat bags to give to the trick-or-treaters. You guys, Halloween has gotten off to a wild start. Like, we are ticking away. We have like T-minus three hours till trick-or-treaters start coming. I don't think I've ever filmed this video on Halloween day before, but right at midnight, at the, at the stroke of midnight on Halloween, all the power went out. Like in our entire neighborhood, in our entire house, it was spooky. So uh, needless to say, I didn't get to film this last night unless I wanted to do it by candlelight. The weather is wickedly freezing outside. I think this is like the coldest Halloween we've had in a decade. It is like 40 crisp degrees outside. I'm not ready for it, but I'm still so excited. I don't know if the cold weather is maybe gonna make more trick-or-treaters or less trick-or-treaters, so place your bets now and I'll update you guys tomorrow. But basically I am preparing for 200 trick-or-treaters this year and for the first time ever, I have pails to give to every trick-or-treater. I got these last year, I think like on the 5th of November from Target, and they were 90% off, you guys. It was such a steal. So this is what we're gonna be filling up this year. Now it's time to show you guys everything on the table. I feel like this is like more toys and prizes and fun stuff. We have some things that you guys are gonna recognize from years past. We have some all new things that I've never had before, like Giga Pets, oh my God. It's gonna be very exciting, so buckle up and get ready. Some things, like I have more of these items than what's on the table, but what we start doing is we start, like this is what we start with, and then we start filling the buckets, and then once we start running out of stuff, we replenish things. Is this boring, is this a boring detail? If you guys have been here, for every year on YouTube, you probably already know how this goes, but table tour, beginning now. <laughs> All right, you guys, how about a big aerial view of the entire table? I'm only working with two lamps, so hopefully the lighting isn't too atrocious, atrocious. I just came up with a new word. As I'm sure you guys can hopefully see, we have so much going on. So, couple of clothing items that I've never done before. We have these cute character baseball caps, and you guys, I found all of these socks last year. I can't remember um, if from Walmart or Target, but they are tons of cute different Halloween designs. Some of them are men's and some of them are ladies, but hey, what's the difference? A sock is a sock. One of my personal favorites, we've got tons of little miniature Play-Doh in all of these fun colors. I love the way Play-Doh smells. You love the way Play-Doh smells. Up next, we have all of these different pencils. It's like an entire treasure chest full of pencils. So many different designs. Brand new for this year, I think, are these Jack, Jumping Jacks? Isn't that what these are called? I, I'm like handing something out. I don't even know what it's called, but they have little skeletons on the bouncy balls. Hopefully you guys can see. And the Jack sets are glow in the dark. So I thought that that was like a fun little game. We have some of these mouth whistles in here that look like vampire fangs. This is kind of a mixed basket. We have these bendy eyeball alien things in here. We also have the pins on necklaces and we have the light up fairy wands and the skeleton hand back scratchers. Down here, we have a whole little bunch of these parachute guys. We've got ghosts and witches and I think little jack-o'-lantern ones. Up new for this year are those um, foam monster ball launcher things. I have no idea what these things are called, but they sure are a lot of fun. Then back here, I have those little like rubberized bloody chokers. Back in here, I have some of these like larger puzzles. I have a whole bunch of these skeletons. Some are neon, some glow in the dark but they are all beautiful. These I have to kind of like accentuate the tops of some of the treat buckets to kind of give them dimension and flair. So these are just smaller black cauldrons that I can fill with like candy. It's like a bucket 
in a bucket. Speaking of bucket inception, I also have these little guys throughout all over the table. These little pumpkin bucket guys are fillable as well. This is kind of another mixed treat bucket. I have some of these flashing, glowing, vampire fangs and we have some of these which i think they're they're called play packs they've got like a couple crayons stickers some coloring books they look like a lot of fun also in here i have some of these bigger like journal notebooks and then i have some smaller memo pads in here and then back here we of course have our giga pets we have unicorns dalmatians and t-rexes so i cannot wait to give these out to the kids tonight in here we have a mixed bucket of pins some of them are the witch finger pins some of them are the little mini neon pins and some of them are just cute halloween designs we have tops in here with a bunch of cute little halloween pictures here i have a sticky assortment so some of these are sticky hands and then some of them are sticky skeletons yes and then way down in here i think i have those sticky eyeballs these are the little like pocket plastic skeletons you're supposed to be able to put these in your pocket so they look like they're peeking out back here we have a bunch of different bouncy balls in different patterns different designs then we have some eye patches back here i think we have just the pirate ones this year so these are the glitter halloween whistles and they're in all different designs this one i picked up is a ghost here is a small coffin full of buttons and create like different pictures. I think the cat blinks. It is really not wanting to do it for me today. Let's see if we can get the eye to move. Will it do it? Well, you guys can see, I'm sure. All right, up next is new for this year. They are those little like um, flyer things. I don't exactly know what these are called, but um, I left them unassembled. And let me know, do you think kids are gonna have more fun that they have to like assemble them themselves? I was kind of torn with like, do I assemble them? or do I leave them unassembled? Up next, we of course have the Magic Disappearing Ink. I think that this is gonna be another kid favorite this year. We have a bunch of little tiaras that are in neon colors. I love these things myself, honestly. Um, over here, we have more bendables. We have some more of the bendable alien eyes and our bendable skeleton mermaids. I love these things. Up next, we have a basket of bubbles. So I have these small neon ones. I have some of these that are the zombie fingers or witch fingers. And then I have these little um, neon ones with characters on top. And then the last one that I have are these super big. I have some of these. I think I've got like... 10 of these. They have skull and crossbones on the top and they're just like giant bubble wands. So cool. Up here, I have squishies and these are actually like pretty slow rising. Like the quality is quite surprising to me. I think that they are from Walmart. Back here, I have some of these, which are, they're like blind boxes and they have Hotel Transylvania characters inside. So you actually like build them and put them together. Back here, we have some lovely Papa Point pencils and I love these things. I don't know about you guys. Over here, I have some more jewelry stuff. I have the traditional 90s friendship bracelets and then i have a bunch of like mardi gras style beads but they're skull and bones instead back here i have a bunch of different erasers so i have like small jack-o-lantern erasers these are my personal favorite um these are the pencil topper but um i have those in a bunch of different neon colors so up next i have two stacks of different kind of bubbles we have some with frankenstein's monster on them some with ghosts and some with jack-o-lanterns up next i have a ton of cute Halloween colored rubber duckies. I have a ton of these barbed wire like jelly bracelets. I don't know if these like have a technical 
style name or not, but they sure are fashionable. Here I have some more pencils, and these already have all of these cool um, Halloween pencil topper erasers. The last couple things I think I forgot to mention on this side are all of these cute plush animals. But these are so soft and so cute. I love them. Um, also, I have pinwheels back here with jack-o'-lanterns on them. And I love to stick these up out of the buckets. They are so adorable. Um, back here, we have a couple of miniature Halloween footballs and some jack-o'-lantern basketballs. I just left these wrapped. Also new for this year, I have the Pez dispensers. So they're like single wrapped Halloween. Hopefully you guys can see some of the patterns. That one's a ghost. Um, there's a jack-o'-lantern. And they're kind of hard to see because they're wrapped in plastic. All right, next bucket is full of funny glasses and funny face disguises. So we have some of these guys and like hypnotism looking glasses, eyeballs. Those look so cool. Um, back here we have ring pops and over here hidden we have finger puppets. So over here is Candyland. So this is just kind of like a sampling of a lot of the different kinds of candies we have. I think that these are sour Skittles. We've got regular Skittles, Starburst, we have M&Ms, Snickers, all kinds of chocolate bars, Three Musketeers, Twix, um, and that looks like all in that bucket. Different kinds of M&Ms, different kinds of Snickers, and over here is like a ton of gummies and like lifesaver gummies. And then I think we have a bunch of other candy that we just didn't put out because candy for some reason to me is like the most boring thing to give out on Halloween. I don't know. I don't know if kids are like more excited to get candy or stuff. We also have tons of different glow sticks and I have asked you guys in years past if y'all think that I should like break the glow sticks and put them glowing in the treat baskets or let the kids break their own glow sticks and you guys always comment that y'all think it's more fun to let them break them so they are not yet glowing. And then I have a couple of these things that is like a sword, a star. So it's like wands and a sword. The sword I think is my personal favorite. I have a slime bucket over here. I have some of these bigger monster slimes and then I have these larger jack-o'-lantern slimes. I am so excited about these this year. Here I have a giant bucket of vampire fangs. Here is a basket of inflatable stuff. So we have inflatable bats, totally oh so cute, and inflatable um, broomsticks. Took me a minute to remember what this was called. We have more temporary tattoos over here. I think that these are actually tattoos and then in the bottom of the bucket, I think we have puzzles in here as well. Here is kind of another like miscellaneous pile of games. We have some more of the um, jumping jack sets. We have jumping ropes and we have these cute little paddle games. Um, here is a huge bucket of oversized pins and I love these things. So I almost can't reach this like right in the middle of the table, but this is sort of a miscellaneous bucket. I have some creatures in here. Here are our little skeleton narwhals and we've got some giant bats and we have some bookmarks slash stencils. Here is another miscellaneous bucket. We have these awesome skull bead bracelets and some of these like larger eyeball glittery bouncy balls. We have some of these, I think they're called like popping eyeballs. Um, some slap bracelets, some slinkies. There's some fangs in here. Oh my gosh. These were like one of my personal favorites. I was hoping I was going to be able to get more of these this year, but I don't think they were selling them. They are glass candy corn bracelets, but I love the way these look. And then I think we just have like some witch fingers. Here are those virus balls. Disgusting and beautiful. So you squeeze them and they change colors. 
So we have more of those cool eyeball glitter water bouncy ball things. We have hacky sacks and we have some more of these pumpkin head containers. So back here I have memory matching card jack-o-lantern games. And then here is kind of another miscellaneous container. It has a lot of these bendable skeleton unicorns. And then I have worms on string. If anybody can explain this meme to me, I sure would love it. I see worms on string everywhere. Over here, I have some of the apples that can be filled with toys or like a couple dollar bills or some change or something. I haven't quite decided and I should decide that. I have a container of straws, all kinds of crazy straws in different colors and shapes. And last but not least, this is all rings. I think it's mostly bats, like neon bat rings. I think we have maybe a couple spiders in there and then a few of these flashing um, skull necklaces. And then this is like a pile of random critters. I have some of these awesome pastel skulls in here and I have some spiders, some glow in the dark bats, that's some real cute buddies in there. And I think that this is the very last thing I haven't shown you guys, but we're gonna try and blow some of these up. They are light up spooky balloons. So some of them are jack-o-lanterns and I think some of them are like marble or tie-dye, but they all blow up and glow up. So that, that just sounds perfect. So I think that that is everything you guys. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do now is go through and I'm gonna put a bucket together and kind of show you guys what one finished bucket looks like. And then I'm gonna get my family in here, dog man, cat is here, um, and we are gonna have to just like probably speedily put these together faster than we've ever done before. So I'm going to put together an example one and then I will show it to you guys. Yes. I can't promise that they're gonna be gorgeous this year, but hopefully I can promise that they're gonna bring a bunch of cheer. So I went through and like what I try and do is like layer the bracelets around the bubbles, put some fun stuff sticking out of the back. Normally I put all of the candy in the bottom because once again, I just feel like that's like less visually fun to look at. Uh, we have some socks shoved back in here and I put like some toys, a ring pop in the front. We got a bendy guy and um, magic, magic ink. Um, I put like jacks in the front, a squishy, a plushy, one of these flyer things. I put a bunch and then like two bracelets on the back. I don't know, a back scratcher, a pinwheel. I feel like this one is good. Oops. So um, let me know what you guys think about my treat buckets this year. Would you want to get one? Are you excited? Are you going trick-or-treating? Are you taking a young one to go trick-or-treating? What was your favorite thing to get while trick-or-treating? Was it candy, pencils, money? Let me know. Leave it in a comment down below. Also, if you guys have any suggestions of fun stuff that I could get for these next year, like different stuff that I could put in them, I sure would love to know. Don't forget you guys, have a happy, fun, safe, healthy Halloween. I love you guys so much. I hope that whatever you're doing tonight, whether you celebrate or you're just having a nice quiet evening in, I hope that you're just having a good time and I hope you're having, I hope you're having a lot of fun. But uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for all of October. I'm gonna miss seeing you guys daily, but I think I should upload a lot in November too. I don't know. 